you see free software tends to interoperate. And proprietary software will often interoperate with it as well. And when proprietary software developers want to make their software interoperate with ours, they can. We can't stop them. Proprietary software developers sometimes, however, prefer to disallow interoperability. That's something they can do because they have power over their users. So the result is you get the free software, and you get the proprietary software that interoperates with it, and then you get the proprietary software that won't interoperate with it. So these two form one network as far as that's concerned. The, the free and the non-free programs that interoperate, their users are all getting the benefit of working with all of those people. And then there is the proprietary software that doesn't interoperate, where those users are only getting the benefit of interoperating with them. The question is, which one's bigger? When the proprietary software developers make it not interoperate, they do that because they think they're going to be more numerous, and that they think that the pressure to interoperate with them is going to wipe us out. That's their plan. Now, it's to a large extent, it's Microsoft mainly that does this because Microsoft is has a user has 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 a collection of users which is bigger than everyone else. So they think that by making their stuff not oper interoperate with everything else, that they will pressure more people to use their formats and their software. And this is why when people send you a word format document, you should refuse to look at it. You should say, please don't send word format documents. See, right now, today, there is free software that can open today's word files. For instance, OpenOffice can do it. Most word files, not all. And that's because free software developers have made a lot of effort to figure out word format because the format's secret. Microsoft won't tell us what it is. But people have figured it out by experiment in order to make free software read it. But Microsoft is going to change it. That Microsoft has a practice of coming out with different formats that are incompatible. And part of the reason, of course, was to force people to upgrade. You see, when people, some people start using a new version, a later version of Word, which, has an in, which writes an incompatible format by default, that'll put pressure on everybody else to switch from the old versions of Word to the new, format, new versions of Word. So that's a way they make people pay for upgrades. But in, in addition, it's going to be a way of trying to kill off the free software, because they're going to try to use something like a patent or treacherous computing or at least new secrets to try to make it impossible for us to interoperate. Now, if we get to the point of defeating them, then I think we'll find that not that many proprietary developers are in a position where they think that they can kill us off by making their software not interoperate. And then what you'll find is just the pressure is on everybody to interoperate, which is what it usually is.